Hey, what's up? Welcome back to Sweatshirt Fitness, the place where we break down the nitty gritty details of exercise. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss our content. Now, today's video is a bit different. We're diving into a recent comment chain where I shared my thoughts on body proportion and muscle distribution in bodybuilding. I commented on the importance of maintaining proper ratios and got quite the response. This video is not just a response, but an opportunity to educate and discuss the science behind bodybuilding. I made a comment on famous bodybuilders Instagram, Jeremy Potvin. My comment read, very disproportionate leg to upper balance. Do not train like this. The average male muscle mass distribution is 54% lower body. This is like 0.5% leg and 99.5% upper. I don't think this is that crazy of a comment. I received some negative feedback to my comment, to say the least. The comment suggested that the Olympia athlete was very imbalanced. I understand that bodybuilders and the community can be very protective of their physiques and training modalities. I was trying to make a productive comment and my tone was misunderstood. In the comment chain, I referred to the Steve Reeves bodybuilding formula from the silver era of bodybuilding. Now, according to this formula, the calf and upper arm circumference should match. And according to the Journal of Applied Physiology, the skeletal muscle mass distribution for males is around 54.9% lower body. That is a crucial piece of information that was missing from Potvin's fans' side of the discussion. Proper body proportions aren't just about aesthetics. They are grounded in scientific principles. It's not about personal opinions. It's about optimizing your physique for performance and health. Let's address the negative comments. The direct response to my statements, it's completely inappropriate for individuals to attack someone personally, especially when discussing fitness. Comments like LMAO, bro, go worry about your hair, that's 99.5% gone, are not only unrelated, but also counterproductive. A community of over 1 million followers should not participate in this type of behavior, and the followers who went onto my account to negatively interact with my content were inappropriate to do so in the way that they did. There were some who made good comments about their disbelief in the way that I work out core and the importance of stabilization muscles and exercises. But the majority of the responses show a greatly negative community without the ability to handle criticism. I can take any and all criticism of my training modalities, come to my page, comment, ask questions, critique the evidence behind my training modalities, but do not offer baseless attacks. My initial comment contained two different types of evidence. One piece of evidence was from the very sport the Olympia athlete participates in, the Reeves formula in the bodybuilding community, and the other from a physiology journal. If you are to place criticisms on me, it is not best to do so on a personal level or about my appearance as you are judging me based on your own standards. I judge athletes on their own terms, which is why the Reeves formula and a muscle distribution study was applied to bodybuilding, a sport that desires proportions and aesthetics of muscle groups. If you were to criticize me, criticism about function, form, or health studies disproving my concepts are welcome to the conversation. I like being proven wrong. Please come to me with questions. And just to put it out there, I've shaved my head before, and whether someone has hair or not does not determine their worth or fitness level. We're here to build a supportive community that focuses on real discussions and positive growth between disciplines and fitness. So that's going to be it for today. Remember, fitness is a journey. We're all in this together. If you enjoyed this video or found it informative, give it a thumbs up and like it. Share it with your gym buddies. Stay happy, healthy, safe. Make sure you drink your water.